Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so, I've been uh, putting this off for a while and uh, finally gonna make myself do it. Took some time off of work and uh, I drive across the country to go pick up car parts because you know, what else am I supposed to do, right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna do uh, three hours today and then uh, probably something like 14 hours tomorrow. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how long I can hold out, but I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to getting the parts and I've got parts I'm actually trading off to my buddy as well. So, um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Tonight's an easy night, it's uh, 6.15 right now, 6.10. And uh, so I'll be done by about 10 o'clock and uh, get a decent night's sleep, I'll get up really early and take off and start driving all day so uh stay tuned and i'll have some footage in here along the way of time lapses and whatnot but anyways i uh, will keep y'all up to date and i'll run some footage once we get there all right so check this out so last night i uh went ahead and got my wanted to get my radar hardwired for this truck and i've, I've I've done a few road trips, but usually I'm towing something, and since I'm planning on doing 14 hours tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna try to maximize my efficiency on the road. I'll say it that way. I'll maximize my efficiency as much as possible on the road tomorrow, and I uh, want to have a radar detector, and I'm also gonna be running ways on the truck too, but. Um, so I wired it up last night, and you know, I had my voltmeter out and found a ignition wire, and found a uh, constant battery voltage and then I went and drove the truck this morning to work and I got about maybe halfway there and I noticed the radar was turned off well I know I did I know I did a good install on it so started doing some more digging around and uh, pulled into the shop this afternoon and I, I didn't have time to look at it but I just pulled it in to grab something and when I pulled back out as soon as I pulled out as soon as I pulled back out, the uh, radar turned back off. It was strange, but uh, pretty quickly realized that <laughs> apparently the wire I found and the wire I tapped into was somehow tied to the lights. So my workaround right now is just running the lights, running the parking lights while I'm driving. Not a big deal, but I'll have to go back and fix that later on. But uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Anyways, so I'm gonna get to driving and I will see y'all soon. Good morning guys. It is just <clears throat> just barely shy of five o'clock in the morning and we're gonna get this show on the road and start driving some more uh, up before the sun and uh, you know, early bird gets the worm. So we're gonna keep on driving. <laughs>
on that time lapse of Mallin, Alabama. Uh, this is the third state I've been in today. Sure, just keeping track, right? But I'm at uh, about a half a tank, and I've driven almost 400 miles today, uh, continuously. Uh, about five and a half hours behind the wheel. Moving right along, just mowing down the miles. That's the downside to having the big gas tank is it takes a long time to fill up. So <laughs> need a little bit of a stretch break anyway, so it's all good. But we'll keep uh, keep on trucking. Well, the sun is starting to set, but I just got into South Carolina. Um, so I'm about 800 miles on the day now. And uh, Still got a little ways to go. Um, just, I don't know, not much else to say, but yeah, I am in South Carolina, so that's exciting. I'm at least you know, another step closer. See y'all soon. into O'Reilly's real quick and see if they have what I need um, hopefully hopefully they do I drove all the way out here just to find out if they had it in stock or not they said online they showed they had it in stock but uh, we'll, we'll jump in here real quick and see if they do they're getting ready to close so. do you have a uh a Harley Davidson Valence in stock by chance? I might. This actually looks kind of cool. We oh, wow. just got this on the truck. It's today. in stock. It is freshly painted and everything. Wow, so, so lucky. I know, right? <laughs> well, I've got about six hours of sleep, maybe, maybe six and a half. I don't know. Uh, I got about. 13 hours of driving time to get back home so should be able to get home before uh, midnight so that's the goal <laughs> uh, we'll keep pushing ahead it's another 960 miles or something like that so less than halfway but still gonna be a long day so hang in there so it occurred to me whenever I was editing this video that I didn't really discuss um, <laughs> this whole trade situation. So I had a uh, 
I bought a set of uh, what I thought were Super Crew Harley Davidson chrome cab pipes that go underneath the cab. And uh, turns out they were not for a Super Crew. They're actually the super rare 2000 extended cab Harley Davidson uh, cab pipes. So uh, I offered them up to Joey, who uh, about September last year had come across uh, two. 2003 Harley Davidson valences, and uh, I uh, negotiated to have him hang on to one of them for me. And uh, I finally made the trip out, and I so I brought him Harley Davidson cab pipes, which he's going to get put on his truck, and then now I have a valence to put on my truck. So for those who haven't seen, this is a Bucky's gas station, and uh, pretty much gas pumps as far as the eye can see. Uh, there's a whole nother bank of, uh, just about as big as this one, there's a whole other bank of uh, gas pumps down that direction too. Um, it's probably somewhere in the ballpark of 100 pumps, I would guess. I, I don't know that for sure, but um, I'll go drive and find out. But Anyways, it's, uh, it's pretty big inside, and uh, I, I like to say it's the Walmart of... Uh, the Walmart of gas stations because they're kind of have one of everything and they got a bunch of souvenirs and snacks and drinks and food and it's just everything's bigger and uh, it's a Texas based company and uh, they get in and out pretty quick though so th that part's nice you don't have to really fool with waiting at pumps I mean you know this is middle of the day but there's still a whole ton of pumps that are open so you can you know pretty much you can get in and out pretty quick and uh they got lots and lots of diesel pumps so if there's any any of my followers that are diesel guys that uh have problems finding diesel and finding getting in and out of uh gas pumps and all that they're they're set up well okay so we're at gas pump 210 right now and there's 220 on the other side 230 on the other side Again, just to give you an idea of <laughs> how big this place really is. Uh, so this is just open parking back that direction and then behind the store. But, uh, yeah, looks like we max out around 240, something like that. So I was even low on my estimate. But 247, so probably about 2, uh, I guess 260 or so going that direction. But... Anyways, it's a nice little stop in and out. Uh, they have a little cafe restaurant where you can order food and, and get stuff. So that part's nice. I see you, but you know, this guy doesn't know what he's doing either. So we have uh, six, about 650 miles back to the house now and uh, got a new tank of gas so I'm up to 900 miles range and uh, we're showing about nine hours of drive time so be uh, a little bit of a late night getting in but shouldn't be too late but uh, hopefully knock out this last leg without having to stop again that'd be nice so I'll keep y'all updated <laughs>
occurred to me that I've now cleared 2,000 miles in the last 48 hours, including two nights of sleep. Uh, so that, that's pretty, pretty impressive, and that just shows how much solid seat time I've had, continuous seat time I've had to have that many miles in, ch in such a short amount of time. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna get this trip trip wrapped up, and uh, I'm gonna throw a couple totals uh, once I get all the, the numbers figured out. I'm gonna have uh, like total gallons used, uh, average MPG for the whole trip, and then uh, total miles and total time, and uh, we'll do something like that. Appreciate you watching my videos and uh, checking out another one of my videos, and then we'll see y'all on the next one.